Hello Felicibus, Felix here and welcome to my new series called Betting with Failure and I'm gonna be betting on some games like in my hobby I like to bet with my friends on some games and I decided to bet on tomorrow and uh, <laughs> Gosh, they just typed to me but I decided to try and go record some of my bets just to see how well I would do when I record it also so I have four bets for tomorrow first one is gonna be Coventry against Southampton and you probably guessed that I'm a big fan of Southampton. I just want to show you guys why I picked Southampton. Let's take a look at the stats. And be aware, this is going to be typed in Danish because I'm on a Dan I'm betting on a Danish like site. So it's going to be in Danish, but I'm going to try to translate some of the words for you. When you see this, where is this? This, it doesn't seem too stunning for Southampton. They lost the two games, the last two games they had, which was on the 30th of December and the 2nd of January. And I might think that a draw could be happening between the two, the, these two teams, but I decided to pick Southampton. But when you look at Coventry's team, they won against Brighton and Bristol City. And Brighton is a pretty good team, I have to admit. But I think that Coventry does not have the skills to pay the bills. Because last time Southampton played against Coventry, and Southampton was on a way field at the same time. And it's not that far ago, it was in November. They won 4 to 2. So I think that Southampton has this thing over Coventry that can make Southampton win. But that is my decision. So I decided to odds on Southampton. And this this is it's called the long in Denmark. It's where you odds on multiple games and they add up the like the odds on the team. Say so, see for example Southampton has a 1.95 odds and Derby has a 2.5 no a 0 2.05 and it's going to add those up and then put in it's like it's like you have to get all four right. Uh, I I also done four different teams, and you have to get all four right to get the like the uh, the profit. And the next game I was done was on Derby against Crystal Palace. I pretty like Crystal Palace, but when I took a look at the sports that uh, the status uh, the status the statistic that's hard to say when you when you say it in Danish and you want to say it in English. I maybe thought this could end in a draw, but. Derby has been playing stunning like the last three games. They won against Hull, West Ham, who's a pretty good team, and Leeds, who's also amazing. And Crystal Palace lost 2-1 to Leeds Chester the last game, so I think their morale can be bad. And the form that Derby is on, I want to pick them. But the last two games they played against each other was, was a draw. And it was on the 2nd of December and the 19th of... I think that's March. But... I think because Derby is on this roll or this streak, I want to bet on Derby. So that's that's 2.5 for Derby, that's good enough. The next game is Norwich against Burnley. And I'm not the biggest fan of Burnley, to be honest. And I really like Norwich because I'm the games guy supports them. And they actually beat Newcastle 4-2 and I'm a big Newcastle fan. As you can see there, they bought them. Uh, they, <laughs> they, they won 4-2. But I'm kind of... I'm kind of uh, debating with myself if I should odds on Norwich because Burnley has had this role also. They won three out of four games and they lost to Leeds, who's a pretty good team. And Norwich, maybe they lo uh, won the last one, who can make their morale a bit better and drew against Fulham. But still, I'm not sure. The last time Burnley and Norwich played, Burnley actually won. So I'm not sure about this. If you guys disagree with any of my of any of my bettings, you can type it in the comment just to like, so I can see it in the like in the future when I'm gonna odds more or bet more. I say the Danish words too much, but it's a long time ago since Burnley won against Norwich, so I think Norwich can do it. I want to see where Norwich and Burnley are placed if it can, if they want to show it. Uh, uh. It's, Past games, who is that for? Uh, I cannot see who that is for, but I personally, f I'm, I do not know. I want to say Burnley. It makes the odds go way up, but it's really this game is the one that I'm most. I, I don't want to odds in the game because it's so. It's so risky because it can go either way. It can, no one can win it if they have the day. But Burnley, they play good sometimes. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with Norwich because I like them more. So the next game is Leicester against Nottingham Forest. And it's a close, like the, the odds on both teams are pretty close. But they both won the last game they played. 
Uh, Leeds has the one against Crystal, Crystal Palace, who is a great team, and Nottingham Forest once again. Ipswich, is, who is not the best team, but Leeds Chester, three, the last three games, they have gotten points. So that that's something in my book. And Nottingham Forest has lost three out of the four last games. So that is... Oh, they lost two out of the four last games, so that's not good enough. And the last two times, Nottingham Forest and Leeds Chester played against each other. Nottingham Forest won, won one, and Leeds Chester won, uh, draw, or they drew one. But I think that Leeds Chester got the team to beat Nottingham Forest. If you can beat Crystal, Crystal Palace, you can beat Nottingham Forest. This, these are the four bets that I'm going to be betting on for tomorrow. I think I can do great. And by the way, guys, it's my birthday today. I'm... I'm 16 finally. I can now drive a scooter legally. So that's nice. So you're not probably not, not going to expect any video for tomorrow or Sunday because I'm going to celebrate my 16th birthday in like with my family because next year I'm not going to be in Denmark to celebrate my 17th birthday. So my mom and dad are really going out. Oh yes, but we have to do this. We have to do this because we're going to miss you next year. And it's just yeah, it's family business. But if I do this, I'm going to get 345 Point twenty crowns back, Danish crowns, and that is a good amount of money if you're only betting 20, 20 crowns. And you can see, like, even though you don't know, don't know the valuta, you, even though you don't know how much a Danish crown is worth, if you bet twenty of something and you get three hundred and almost fifty back, that means a lot. So it's not, it's not like incredibly much, but I want to be realistic. I think I have this one, but. Let's just hope it can go the right way. And by the way, guys, when the cycling season is on again, I want to do this recycling. Each, like, each pro to a rage, I think. But let's see. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment on what you think of my odds. Do you think Derby and Crystal and Palace could win? Uh, that Crystal, and pa Crystal Palace could do it better? Do you think Nothing and Forest could beat Le Leeds Chester? Or do you think Norwich or Burnley? Which one should I have? Which one should I have bet on? You can type that in comments. Please, I want to hear your opinion. Your opinion means a lot to me. Thank you, guys. See you guys later.